Hi everybody, my name is Sam McLean and I am a third year biology student at Lakehead University. Today I'll be talking about the ivory-billed woodpecker, uh, one of North America's rarest birds, if it even does still exist. Now looking at this bird, it's easy to note the similarities in size and markings between it and the pileated woodpecker, uh, causing difficulty when you're trying to identify them at a distance. A bit more identifiable up close, we can see that the ivory bill woodpecker lacks a lot of the distinct facial markings of the pileated, as well the red crest doesn't wrap fully around and the female is without any red colorations. The dorsal side of the ivory bill woodpecker's wings also have a pretty big white patch on them that's not seen in the pileated. As seen from the specimen photo on the left, there's also a bit of a size difference um, with the ivory bills getting a couple centimeters longer than the pileated's. Like many woodpeckers, they rely on forests that have dead or dying trees um, from which they can excavate insects from or carve out and use as homes. The ivory bill woodpecker was most commonly found in the expansive forests of the southeastern U.S., um, but the influx of logging in the 19th century uh, took away most of this habitat and populations very quickly declined. The solid green line here shows the historical range, while the dotted green line shows the ranges of 1885 and by 1930, there were thought to be just around 25 of these birds left, most of them residing in Singer Tract, Louisiana, which is about right here. Fearing he'd lose his chance, uh, ornithologist James Tanner made his way to Singer Tract in 1938 and is thought to have been the last to see a breeding pair of ivory-billed woodpeckers along with their juvenile, uh, who sits very happily on his guide's hat here. Sensing the vulnerability of this population, Tanner predicted that if Singer Tract were to be logged, ivory bills would be completely decimated. This proved to be the case as the last sighting of an ivory billed woodpecker was in 1944 and was within Singer Tract. This sighting in 1944 was thought to be the last until 60 years later, on the 24th of April 2004, in Cache River National Wildlife Refuge, Arkansas. A four second long video sparked hope that the ivory bill population was not truly gone. Despite the horrific compression, this video was the backbone of John Fitzpatrick's 2005 report in which he declared the ivory bills alive. By using the width of a nearby tapella tree, he was able to estimate the length of the bird to be exceeding the recorded length of an ivory bill. By examining the wing patterns of a bird in flight, uh, he concluded that the bird was in fact an ivory bill by stating that the flash of white was far too big to be a pileated woodpecker. Convinced by the size and the pattern seen on the bird, Fitzpatrick's team conducted acoustic monitoring on the area, um, and they heard similar sounds to that of the ivory bill, um, but they were unable to confidently distinguish it from the call of a blue jay. Despite this, he, is, he considers the video evidence enough that the ivory bill is present in Arkansas. Fitzpatrick's claims were seen as being a little too confidently made by some. In the next year, 2006, Jay Collins uh, looked a bit more quantitatively at the video. Due to the quality of the original video, Collins concluded that the white patches that Fitzpatrick said that he saw were mere artifacts of rapid motion being recorded on uh, subpar equipment. If we take this into account, we can conclude that the patterns seen on the bird are much closer to that of a pileated woodpecker. Collins also examined the wing beat frequency of the bird uh, they were, it was found to be 8.6 reciprocal seconds, which is technically more consistent with ivory bills, though the sample size uh, was only one, and it was an auditory sample taken in 1944, um, so that's considered non-conclusive. A pileated woodpecker also wouldn't be incapable of making a wing beat frequency of this magnitude if they were undergoing stress and escaping a situation as they could have been in the video. With these in mind, Collins concluded that the bird that Fitzpatrick had reported was certainly not an uh, ivory bill woodpecker. For many, the idea that a previously extinct animal is once again found is very exciting. Ornithologists and casual tourists alike have flocked to Brittany, Arkansas to embark on boat tours to do swamps just to see the slightest chance of an ivory bill. The small town has leaned into this tourist opportunity, theming many things such as haircuts and hamburgers off of the bird, um, as well as selling shirts and sweaters and tourist souvenirs. Though no sightings have been substantiated like they had with the video in 2004, there's still a lot of hope that the birds do exist within the woods of Arkansas. A newfound demand for environmental protection of this area saw that $10 million in federal pledge was given, and the wildlife refuge in which the ivory-billed woodpecker was found has been expanded. 
the IUCN currently lists the ivory-billed woodpecker as critically endangered, as there is no evidence beyond a reasonable doubt that they are extinct. But what do you think? Is it out there? Or is it just to hope that we haven't led to the demise of yet another species? Maybe it's just for tourism. Whatever the conclusions are, I hope you found this case as interesting as I do, and I appreciate you taking the time to watch my presentation.